Yo, what the deal, YouTube? This your man, Frank Dutch, right here of Apex Music and Media. And today, I'm going to show y'all two ways of creating stems on Pro Tools. And I'm going to show you the benefits of both. So without further ado, let's get to it. Yeah, so this is basically what you do. This is the first way of doing it. You know what I mean? You want to go and highlight all of the audio clips evenly. It doesn't matter how far in the back you start, but just make sure you start in the back and drag all the way to the front. And make sure you're definitely at the beginning of the session and everything is even. All right, so then once you do that, you're going to hit Shift Option 3. And what's that going to do? That's going to consolidate all your audio and it's going to create new clips. You know what I mean? And once it's done doing that, the next thing you want to do is make sure you have... All right, come on, man. <laughs> Alright, so boom, it did it. So the next thing you want to do is make sure you want to have this your clips windows open. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, you might have it closed, but this is how you open it right here. You know what I mean? When you open Pro Tools, sometimes it'll be closed, but this is how you open it right here. Now, you right click on one of those audio clips and you go to export clips as files. You click, uh, you select your desired file type whether it be Wave, AIFF, MP3, or QuickTime. We're going to go with Wave on this one. You select your format type. Um, you know, sometimes it'll be on multiple mono. You want to definitely have it on interleaved. And then you select your bit depth. We're going um, to keep it at 24-bit. And you want to pick your sample rate, your desired sample rate. Um, we, the session was recorded at 44.1, so we're going to keep it at 44.1. But we could jump up to 88.2, depending on the situation. And you choose where you want it to be sent to. Um, we're going to create a new folder here. We're going to call it Stems. Click Open. And click Export. And it's going to process all of the audio and um, basically export it into that folder. All of those even... Uh, audio files are stems now you know what I'm saying so you know once you once you once it's done processing you pretty much zip that folder up um, you are uh, compress the folder rather you know what I mean and uh, make note of the tempo put it in the folder for um, whoever you're sending it to and send it off to get mixed you know what I'm saying that's basically how you make stems and pro tools all right that's the, actually the first way and the easiest way. You know what I'm saying? But stay tuned. There's another way. You know what I mean? Check it out.